I'm Sheena Larson, and this is one of my clinical mentors, Melanie, and um, this is Freddie. He's going to be neutered today, so um, one of the vets asked me if I could pre-med him. So I have everything that I need for him here. Um, so I, ha she has the plan written down on the file. She wants um, him to be given dex dextomator and hydromorphone. Um, 10 milligrams per mil. So I have the hydromorphone here. Um, this expires October of next year. And the dexvedidine, dextomator, um, and that expires in 2024. So I'm going to make sure that these are clean. <laughs> and I am going to draw up the hydromorphone, so 0 0.31 mils. <coughs> Get rid of the air bubbles. And then separately, I'm going to draw up the dextomator. Oh, this needle had, um, the syringe had broken off in the needle, so I can't use that. And it was 0 0.31 that she wanted of the dexpedidine. So 0 0.31. And now what I'm going to do is um, I am going to um, put them into the same syringe. And for the um, needle that's going to be going into his skin, I have a 23 gauge by three quarter inch needle. And I have some tape here, so I'm going to label what's in that syringe. So the 0 0.31 of the 10 milligram per mil hydromorphone. So I need it as two separate items, kind of like we do with Zero point three one mils and dexvedidine. Um, and I'm going to use that. To label my syringe so there's no air bubbles um, and I have the 0 0.31 mils of the hydro and 0 0.31 mils of the dex. So I'm going to give this uh, um, IM in the apaxial 
okay? And we're going to make sure that he's as comfortable as possible. Um, so in order to do that, I'm going to use the landmarks. I'm going to find the wing of his ilium and his spine. He's very fluffy, but he's quite thin, so I can feel um, where his spine is and the point of the ilium, wing of the ilium is here. And I want to inject at roughly a 45 degree angle in a caudal to cranial direction. So, oop. going to find my landmarks again, and I want to go in between those two points. I want to stay well away from uh, um, from his ribs, so that's why I'm down at this end, making sure that the bubble is up. And I poke, draw back, and give. I know. It. He flinched a little bit, but he was very good. He was very brave for that. And I'm just going to massage the site for a little bit. It helps to make him feel more comfortable. And now I am going to make sure that everything is put away. I am going to put those over there. The gauze goes in the garbage. These can be recycled. The alcohol goes back over there. I have his file. And I put everything back in our um, controlled drug cupboard. So that's the epaxial IM injection on a canine. I'm Sheena Larson and I'm going to be doing um, an intramuscular pre-med um, in the quadriceps with uh, MJ here. Um, this is my clinical mentor, Melanie, who is cuddling him right now. So I am going to first draw up the pre-med. So I have the um, 10 milligram per mil hydromorphone. Um, the expiry date is October of next year. Um, the dexvedidine, um, it expires in 2024. And um, I'm going to be drawing up 0.15 of each of those. So I'm going to start off by drawing up the hydromorphone. Making sure to get rid of all of the bubbles. And now I'm going to drop the dexvedidine. All right, I'll, no problem. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye-bye. And I'm going to do that in a different syringe. Stubborn air bubbles. There we go. And I'm going to put them both into the same okay. uh, would it be syringe. 
peach, peach. Oh, here we go. Medical bromide, one make per mil or five milligram tablets. And I am going to label them with everything that is in there. We need medical bromide injectable. If I can find the end of the tape. So here I have the label and the syringe um, without blood vessels, 0.15 of each. And I'm going to be switching it over to a um, 23 gauge by 3 quarter inch needle for what's actually going to be going through his skin because I want that to be as sharp as possible. So I'm going to be injecting into the quadriceps. Hello, handsome boy. See? What a good boy. So that's on the um, proximal hind limb here. So it's just on the um, cranial aspect of the hind limb. He actually has a nice thick quadriceps muscle here. Um, so I can isolate it. And then I'm going to be injecting straight in that way um all i would hit if anything is the femur i want to avoid hitting it though but <laughs> so i'm going to make sure that the bevel is pointing up and i'm going to inject in a caudal direction oh you're okay <laughs> good boy so i'm going to poke in draw back and i know <laughs> Good job, buddy. Hey. Good job. Oh. And you were so brave. You yes, so brave. you were such a good puppy. <laughs> yes. Hey. You were such a good boy. Hey. Yeah. Are we friends? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right, so buddy. now I'm just going to make sure that I clean up everything, making sure to put all of the sharps into our sharps container the drugs into the drug cabinet gauze into the garbage and that into recycling and that is the uh, um i am injection into a quadriceps um, I'm Sheena Larson and this is one of my clinical mentors, um, Dr. Dickinson, and uh, um, this is Gunner. He has a bite wound on his uh, um, right hind, so we're going to give him a bit of meloxicam as an analgesic. Um, so I have this here and it expires in... November of 2024. The volume that I'm going to be drawing up is uh, um, 0.28. So I have a one mil syringe and um, the needle that's going to be going through the skin is a 23 gauge by three quarter inch needle.
So I have the label here, um, 0.28 mils of meloxicam, 5 milligrams per mil, and there are no bubbles in the syringe at 0.28. So now I'm going to switch out my needle. Since the wound is on his hind end, I'll just give the sub-Q injection on his uh, um, left shoulder here. Okay. So I'm just going to pinch the skin and create a little um, pocket here. So that way the needle is going to go underneath the skin and not into the muscle. So I'm going to ensure that I have the bevel facing up. I'm going to create my little pocket, just going to give a quick poke, draw back for negative pressure and give. And he was so brave. He was such a good puppy. So now I'm going to make sure that my sharps are put into the sharp bucket. Everything is recycled. Alcohol is put away, tape is put away. That, that. And then uh, um, I'm just going to put the drugs away and I will write in the pile. Um, I'm Sheena Larson and this is Pepper and this is one of my clinical mentors, Melanie. Um, poor Pepper here just has a urinary blockage and Dr. Dickinson would like him to have a convenient injection. So I'm going to give that sub Q. Um, I have the convenient here. And that expires in December of 2023. <laughs> so the dose that Dr. Dickinson would like him to have is 0.9 mils. I'm going to use a 3 mil syringe because it's a larger volume for a one mil syringe and this is much easier to handle. And I'm going to label it. So I have the label here and I'm going to switch it out for a 23 gauge by three quarter inch uh, um, needle. I've made sure that there's no bubbles or anything. Oh, you're okay, bud. 
and the middle scruff usually doesn't have good circulation in any or anything for cats so I am just going to take some of the skin on his proximal left hind make sure that there's a little pocket drawn up so that I don't accidentally go into the muscle and I'm going to go in at a very low angle making sure that the bevel is facing up I'm just going to go in draw back and Oh boy. There. Sorry, bud. <laughs> so ran away. Oh boy. <laughs> hey. You're okay. Hey. I know. And um, Pepper can go back to his kennel where he would be comfortable. And I will clean up my stuff. I will put the sharps in the sharp bucket. The convenia goes back in the fridge. And um, I will record my notes in the file. So that's a sub Q injection on a cat. I'm Sheena Larson and this is um, one of my CMs, uh, um, Melanie. And this here is Rex. Um, we're going to be giving him some intramuscular pre-med for his neuter. Um, so for that, um, Dr. Dickinson um, wants um, butorphanol um, and it expires in December of 2023 and dexfedidine and that expires in 2024. So I'm going to um, use the epaxial muscles on Rex here. So um, first of all, I'm going to draw everything up. I'm going to start off with the um, butorphanol. And it's a very tiny amount, so I'm using one mil syringes. So I'm going to be um, drawing up 0 0.05 mils of the butorphanol. And now I'm going to be um, drawing up um, 0.15 mils of the dexfedidine. And I'm going to be putting them into the same syringe. And I have tape to do my labeling. <laughs> if I can get the tape to unravel. There we go.
it go. So I have my syringe here. And the total volume is point zero or point two. So um, now I'm going to um, isolate the apaxial muscles. And I'm going to be doing that by finding the wing of the ilium with my thumb and then the spine. And then I can feel the edge of the muscle mass there. And then uh, um, I'm, I'm using a uh, um, 25 gauge um, needle to make sure that it's small and changing it to make sure that it's as sharp as possible. Yeah, so what we need already is a specific Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll just find my spot again. Okay. Is there a stone? Hey, buddy. A water stone? And I'm going to make sure that the bevel is facing up. And I can feel the edge of the muscle mass with my thumb and the point of the ilium. And I want to inject in a um, caudal to cranial direction at roughly a 45 degree yeah, angle. Sorry, and then, oh, I know, sweetie, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know, bud, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, hey? I know, that was rude. Hey? You did so good. You were very brave. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Where were we? <laughs> yeah, can you put it right here? Right. And I made sure to draw back on the syringe to make sure that there was negative pressure before I gave the injection. If I had gotten blood or anything, then I wouldn't have continued to inject. And now I need to clean everything up. So I'm going to put the sharps into the sharps container. I'm going to make sure that all of the recyclables are in the garbage or in the recycling gauze goes in the garbage <laughs> getting my words mixed up and the um the drugs go back into the controlled drug cupboard okay, this one okay. and that was an im injection for the um apaxial muscles on a cat uh, i'm sheena larson and this is uh, um my cm dr dickinson and this is herschel um, he is going to have a dental um, later today, so we are just going to give him some IM pre-meds. So, um, Dr. Dickinson has written everything in the file, and he would like um, to use butorphanol and dexpedidine. So, I have the butorphanol, and it expires in December of 2023. And I have the dexpedidine, and that expires in April of 2024. So I'm going to start off by drawing up the butorphanol, and I'm going to use two separate syringes to draw them up and then I will place them into one for the actual injection.
We've added a bit of feel away to the towel there to make Herschel feel a little bit more comfortable. So I've made sure that there's no bubbles in the syringe and I have labeled it with the drugs and their concentration and the amount. And I'm going to use a um, 55 gauge by 5 8 needle um, because I want this to be as small and sharp and make it as painless for Herschel as possible. So I'm going to use the, um, no, I already did that one. Yeah. So I'm going to use the, um, semi-membranosis, semi-tendinosis. Which side do you want me to touch, bud? This side? Okay. Yeah. So, um, I want to, um, isolate the muscle. Um, there's this, whoop groove here. The muscle's on the caudal aspect of the hind leg and I really want to avoid the sciatic nerve so I can feel and I'm going to isolate this um, muscle mass. There we go. Right in here. So it's right in here. He has that fold of skin but I have my thumb in the groove so that I'm going to be avoiding the sciatic nerve. And I am going to inject um, from a lateral to medi dire medial direction and going slightly caudally just to make sure that I avoid that sciatic nerve. Hey bud, I know you. You are being very brave. There we go. So I want to poke in, draw back negative pressure, and then give. And he was so brave for that. Okay. You were such a good kitten. Okay. okay. There we go, and I need to clean up my mess. <laughs> he can go back in his kennel to fall asleep. So I'm going to make sure that I clean up my sharps right away and put them into the sharps container, put my recyclables in the recycle bin, that over there, the feel away, alcohol. Here, you want that thing now? Yeah, gotcha. I'm going to leave the notes here so that I, the medical record so that I can write my notes and I'm going to make sure to put the controlled drugs 
or two. Our controlled got covered.